and then uh, I've been sick. Uh, Which I feel like we always say we've been sick, but I guess we're always sick then, huh? We're, we're like, we're like, I start to feel like due to age and lifestyle, I'm like a newborn deer in terms of uh, your health, immunity, yeah. and your your resistance against the con- like things that yeah might anything's take you gonna, down. Anything's gonna take me down. You get hunted. So. You think we'll ever reach a place like that? We will we'll get hunted as humans. Probably is is it is any is anything inevitable? By other aliens? By I mean by aliens by, or other could, humans? I mean anything. Anything at all. I think it's possible. Sure. Cannibalism? Is that's one of the things that people turn to in times of like no food. Well you gotta think, I mean until the until the day that the whole shit blows up, right? Could be hundreds of millions of years, could be a million years, could be a couple thousand years, whatever it's gonna be. Sure. If it happens like lights out, like there's an like an implosion Right. Or or what not, then no one's prepared and no one sees it coming. But if there's even any type of a slow roll, like even if it happens over the course of a few hours, well, not a few hours, maybe right. not cannibalism. Well, no, I think over a few hours, I think if it gets into the, there's a percentage of people on the earth that if, it, if that kind of thing gets into their psyche, like the, a full on, uh, a full on uh, catastrophe. Yeah. Or what's the word I'm th- thinking of uh, with the end of the world? Like uh, the the apocalypse. Apocalypse. Okay. There's an apocalypse mentality, right? Like there's a there's a there's a there's a percentage of people that'll just be like, "Fuck it," like it, it'll it'll fuck free. It, I'm gonna eat people. It'll free the crazies. Yeah. It'll definitely free the crazies. Is, so you're saying there's people who are already inclined to already. Yeah, they're predisposed. They want to do it, but they just they can't. might not even know they want to do it. Right. I'm saying something comes on. This is a test. This is a, not a test. This is an emergency broadcast system. Right. We all have eight hours. There's gonna be such a the, that. What's that pie chart looking like? It's pretty red. I, I I'd be more concerned about the rape. I think a lot of people would turn to rape very quickly. Eesh. I think there's a lot of dudes out there who like would just be like, "Fuck it, the world's gonna end in a week. I'm just gonna do what I want." Oh my god. Yeah, I, that that if I had like a daughter. But what about friend. people that we generalize as evil? Like terrorists, which are like like they're fighting for a cause. They might not be doing it in a way that. <laughs> right. they, they, I mean, some people say that, like you know, obviously a terrorist is doing that because they think that's the only way that they can get the attention and get the you know it, 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 it it's a power play, right? So sure, they they might not. But then again, you have to be a certain type. Who knows? You got to be driven to that point. Those people now their their plight, their quote unquote self proclaimed plight, sure. it's is up. Well, I don't know, because mainly you're talking about religious zealots, right? Yeah. I think they find a way to turn the apocalypse into justification of everything they've done. I think it's their, whatever's happening, if it's an asteroid, if it's a fucking sun's about to explode, right. that's the coming their of God's whatever. will. Right. I think that they, they find, bet you like the real crazies find some sort of peace in it. <laughs> right, which I mean, which is my point, which is the people that we are generally considered evil. Sure. Maybe they 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 they're not even they. There's nothing. There's no long game for them anymore. So they're not. Right. Do, I mean, what are they gonna? I mean, like I think it's like just the crazies, right? That like are gonna be like, well, uh, let's do. Let's take. Let's let's do this. Right. You know what I mean? Like I think most of the population will just be like, do exactly what you assume, right? Go huddle up with some fam, drugs. Oh wow, you're really thinking the other way around. Well, you think most of the population is going to get high? I think. Oh, that, how do you? How do you? You got to medicate yourself. I, I think you got two weeks. Let's say. Let's say an asteroid. Oh, you're doing two weeks. Oh, two weeks is think? different than eight hours. Oh, eight hours. Oh, eight hours. Now. Well, let's, let's talk about the differences. Okay. Eight hours is definitely going to bring much more. T- eight hours is family and, and loved ones. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree with you there. Oh, see. Okay. Okay. Two weeks. I was thinking the opposite. I thought I was thinking eight hours will bring out the crazies even more. Well, I thought we were talking about cells. Oh, ourselves. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. No, no, no. I just thought you. I thought you would segue into what would we do? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Also, uh, two, but, but two weeks too, man. I wouldn't do a goddamn thing. I would literally get under one roof with my family and stay with them for two weeks. I want to do that. Really? No. I don't what is what is that phone call like when your mom's like, "You want to come over tonight?" I'll be like, "Yeah, I will, ma." I gotta be honest. Like, I want to try some heroin. Uh, I want to no. smoke a lot of weed and I want an orgy or two. I just want to dive into a fucking like. But you would really say, you would, you wouldn't tell her that. But you would really, I probably wouldn't you, tell her. But that. you would you really go for that? Yeah. You would you would two weeks left. You'd try heroin. Yes. What's the point? Just to experience it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I want to because they say the first time you use heroin is like the best time. Really? So I would just I would just shoot off. I just rock it off, and then just find like you know you would go on Craigslist and it would just be like end of the world orgy tonight. Come on by and like people would be going. I would head in. Just, just like one. <laughs> I, I see you with the. I see you with the orgy, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Obviously, there's people out there with some real heroin problems. You know, like sure, but they got started for a reason. Yeah, they got started. Yeah, for that a reason. first yeah. that first shot of it's awesome. Uh, I'm not a drug guy, so I think that it would be it would be a useful way to spend. Because look, yeah, but what if you get a what if you then get addicted? It's the most most addictive thing in the world. You get addicted to it and then your last two weeks is spent sitting down in a corner. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think gotta, you don't think so, huh? Talk to these other people that <laughs> <laughs> No, because there's so much more to do. It would be different. think about it. Like you would be like, there's nothing you could write that will nothing you do will last. The Beatles are gonna be gone. The fucking all the artwork in the world gone. Your favorite movie gone. New York City gone. No, every, every, McDonald's every, gone. Every single thing besides human experience loses its value. Sure, essentially, that's right. Even your photos that or, or your, your most valuable right. prized right. possessions, which are your your photos, or your keepsakes, your memories. Right. Those are, everything's gone. So it's just human experience. Sure, and that's only lasting for two more weeks. That's only lasting for two more weeks. So I probably think that besides getting under one roof with my family and just having some laughs sure. and maybe eating some food and just like expressing love, I could see myself shooting a lot of guns. Not at not at people. Just doing it? Just for just for fun. Not even in a reckless way, but I just feel like you ever you ever like get hold of a paintball gun in like a, a non paintball gun situation? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, like the, the liberating feeling of yeah, it. Yeah, like, you know there's I mean? something to it. Yeah, you know, like because you can now. I mean, if, if really everything, I'll just like literally just like you know go shoot an abandoned building up or something, but just have that like Rambo you'd give moment. It to, like, you'd give like a gun to your niece to shoot because who gives a fuck, right? Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. Sure, God forbid, let no. the kid fire off a few rounds. No, did you see the? Uh, did you see this guy? To, um, a shooting range recently. He right. died. No, I didn't see that. Okay, they. It was like wherever shooting was legal, even for kids. Okay, there's a kids. There's like an all age shooting range. I don't, you, this instructor gave this. It's online. It's literally online. It's gonna be depressing. I don't want to see a kid get hurt. No, the kid's not hurt. Okay. She shot the instructor. He's dead. Oh well, that's funny. She put. <laughs> she gave him a gun. <laughs> he gave her a gun. She was like a ten year old girl. Right. Not even. Maybe like eight. And he's showing her how to do it. Blah blah. She, I think she maybe shoots one. The video cuts off because they don't show it. It says moments later she accidentally fired the gun, shot him. He died. That's hard. That's so that's what happens. That's a when idea. you're in a legalized area with a pro- gun professional that gives a kid a gun. Like sure, but I bet you in the grand scheme of things, a lot more ten year olds have fired guns without hurting people than that one person that did. Yeah, but you're still you have it two weeks. You want to spend okay, let's say the same thing happens in your family, right? Sure. You give your your your, your <laughs> nephew Sure. Whoever. You give someone a gun that's young. Yeah. They accidentally shoot one of your bro- <laughs> one of your brothers. Two weeks left to go? Yeah. Are you like, ah fuck, all right. Yeah, I guess I am. Well, I got to put my nephew down. It goes without saying that that I can't have a little murderer running around. <laughs> so I'd have to put him no, down. No, but what is your feeling if you're in the last week of a two-week run and you guys feel- are really experimenting and an accident happens yeah. where your brother gets shot by a, an, an errant bullet? <laughs> I would feel. Are bad. you like? Are you like? Oh my god! You try. You're trying to save him. He goes. Yeah. Are you mourning the same way? Beyond, I mean, think about not it. Not the same way. No. You're not mourning the same not way because you know, in seven days, you're all gone. That's right. So you're just disappointed. <laughs> well, I feel bad that I robbed him of the two weeks, and my nephew's probably upset. So I also robbed him of the two. Well, weeks. think about your nephew's last two weeks. I know. Ooh. That's why you got to put him down. You accidentally shoot your brother. Yeah, he does. Are your two? Are your last two weeks? What is the percentage Ooh. that is? What's the, what's the percentage that 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 it is that is a bummer? Instead of your brother living for the last two weeks, is it a hundred percent? You are in complete. You're no. inconsolable. No, I think I could still pull some enjoyment out of the last two weeks. <laughs> I think I could. You could turn it around. I think so. And still have enjoyment knowing you accidentally shot your own brother. I feel I would be like, I got to do it for Jimmy, man. <laughs> Like, like gotta I got to do it for Jimmy. I got like a t-shirt made up and said, do it for Jimmy. And you just, think that the screen printing place is open? 
I think that, you you're, you're going to go on threadless.com and order a T-shirt <laughs> and then get expedited <laughs> shipping. Uh, maybe I'm going to pay for two day shipping so you can have it for the last ten days. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I would get a Sharpie up and just get yeah. like a do it for Jimmy t shirt. Yeah. And then what do you even do? Do you do you just leave his body there? You put like uh, like you wrap it in ice? You're not gonna you're not gonna pay the money. Nothing there's nothing available anymore. There's no funerals. There's no anymore. services, no. So jokes. anybody who's dying that last two weeks, that's it. That's it. It's just just gonna I probably put him under like a rock pile like they did in the you old go west. Dig it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeesh. Yeah. But I like how you assumed it's Jimmy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Telling, I had dinner. With, I had dinner with my younger brother Danny the other night, so I can't. I can't imagine killing him. I haven't seen Jimmy in a few weeks. Uh, yeah. What? It, I mean, would it be the best of times and the worst of times? It would know, just be the worst of times. Any, you'd have to be careful because anybody with a grudge against you may be like, "I can kill him." Isn't it weird how one fact, right? One unbelievable fact come becomes reality. Right. And that fact, that singular fact, is all it takes to s- flip humanity sure. on its edge. Sure. Isn't it insane? And you know what's even weirder? If you think about a long enough timeline, there's no difference between an asteroid hitting the Earth in two weeks or our natural lifespan. <laughs> like, if you pull back to a million years... Or billions, like we're right. all dead anyway. Right. We're all living under the threat of death at any right. moment anyway. We just write it off. Sure, dust in the wind. Yeah, right. So really, you know, it's the repercussions that that's what stops people from from shanking right. and killing. Right. It is Monday. We're coming at you live <laughs> <laughs> on this nice, gloomy Monday morning. No, uh, it's it's funny. I think that um. <clears throat> I think that it would be such a oh my god such a like a, a seesaw of emo- of constant emotion to be physically draining. Yeah. It'd be physically draining. You know to to just cuz also like everything that's going to go on around you outside. Like what I think there would be like like bouts of like unbelievable um uh, uh, generosity and like, like, sure. quote unquote, miracles in, in a positive way going on. Yeah, it, it juxtaposed with the most heinous things as as well. It'd be, it would be, it would be something else. Like, what, do you think it'd be? It's, you think it wouldn't be safe to leave the house? I don't think it would be that in the United States. I don't. There's no cops. No, you know what I mean. Like, there's none of that shit. There's nothing. Yeah. But what? But but think about it. Okay, so really, it's just it's just physical. Harm because so what? So there's no cops. So looting. So what? You, no one's gonna loot. You don't need a television. You don't need a. You right. know they're gonna be looting for food. Not really. I mean, you got two weeks. It's not like oh my god, get food to survive. Yeah. So what is the play? Even though even the most hardened criminal or whatever is just gonna be like, what what am I getting out of this? Like I I, I you know I don't know. I don't know. I, I know I wouldn't want to hurt anybody, but that I, I think there are people who would want to hurt people yeah, who yeah. just would want to experience like power and and, isn't and it, violence. Isn't it crazy that that would only manifest itself with the with that one fact that the world is ending? Right. So that means those people are predisposed to doing that. Or walk amongst us all over the place, sure. which we already knew. But to talk about it, it actually is kind of like. A, I open it. Yeah. <laughs> and we live in a highly populated area too. We would have problems. Cause out of a hundred yeah. people, we surveyed a hundred people from the neighborhood. Sure. But what what is the number that you think is predisposed to going on a killing spree if it's if it's the apocalypse? No, I don't think a killing spree. I don't think but what do you think deviant where how how many of them are gonna 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 immediately gravitate toward deviant behavior? Well deviant Deviant how? Shooting heroin at sex or? No, criminal behavior. Criminal behavior? Probably not many, but enough to be scary. 15? 15 out of 100? Ooh, that's high. I, thought, I was thought it was going to be less. Yeah. 15% of, 15% of the population is going to immediately go to a criminal behavior. I think teenagers, kids. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but you're not, we're, not living, we're not living in like a, 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 a you know, that type of a, what's, I'm, I'm short on words today. What's that? What's that? What's that? That that word? It's like teen, teens are running wild in the future. It's like a ne- uh, fuck it. Anyway, okay. It is a, 
I gotta I gotta take some ginkgo biloba. Dystopian? Yes. Yes, okay, got yes. it. Um I think that like this is gonna I be a lot of. That. I think teens will just be like, oh, "I want to go see my family." I don't know. I think you're. I think you're underestimating the anger that a lot of people would have. Angst, anger, that their life is ending, that they're not going to get to experience certain things, that they're the ones who are dealing with this. I think a lot of people would be like, "I'm getting robbed of a life and experiences," and so I'm going to take that out on who? You, yeah, but you could couple that with stupid people, of which there are a lot of stupid people. Oh, there's half the people are stupid. Sure. Yeah. So I think that people, I think that people will would snap. I think something and it would snap. I don't think it'd be safe. I hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband. Cause right. the raping everybody out there. 